Hey, it's Miss Kelly Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. All right, so today's video is going to be about working with private landlords versus working with a apartment complex. Let's go over some pros and cons of each one of them and you can kind of decide which one you would prefer to do, right? Okay. All right, so let's start with private landlords. Now, you guys should know by now that this is what I go after. <laughs> this is my thing. I prefer to work with private homeowners or private landlords versus going to apartment complexes to get my properties in regards to rental arbitrage. And by the way, all of this is going to be in regards to rental arbitrage, not so much home ownership. So I just want to make sure that's clear. All right. So back to private owners. One benefit is that the rates, monthly rates are usually lower when you're working with a private landlord. Okay. So, you know, apartment complexes tend to go up on their rates every single time you renew the lease. But with a private landlord, a lot of times the monthly rate will stay the same and every blue moon, they will raise the rents or yeah, right. Yeah. Raise the rents is what it is. <laughs> Our rates. Um, but not every single time you renew the lease. I know I have properties where um, I've been in them for at least two years and the rates have not changed. We just keep renewing the lease and we keep it going. Nothing changes. It works out for everybody. So that's one benefit. Another benefit of working with private landlords is that they have a variety of different type of housing to provide to you. So you can rent a condo, a townhouse, a private you know, home, um, anything like you want to rent from a private landlord versus an apartment complex, you're only going to probably get a townhouse or an apartment so or a loft or something like that. Uh, so you have more of a variety of the type of housing that you can pick from when working with a private landlord. Another thing is um, basically you have more flexibility. So when you're working with a private landlord, you have more flexibility of maybe who can come in and out um, as far as your guests are concerned, how many people can stay in the property. Um, the rules are more flexible because the landlord really isn't sitting there monitoring anything. They only uh, will only thing will raise a red flag with a private landlord is if a neighbor complains to them or they get a complaint from the city regarding the house. That's the only red flag. But with an apartment complex, they're right there. So they can see everything, you know, know what's going on. So you might have a few more issues working with an apartment complex. Plus, they're going to have specific rules already set in place in regards to who can come in and out and what they require. So you definitely have more flexibility with a private landlord. Now, one con to working with a private landlord is the maintenance. So if something breaks or something happens, it tends to take longer for a private landlord to get that situation fixed. With apartment complexes, they already have a management or like a maintenance team on staff because that's part of the management uh, company's job, right? So they have people who constantly are there every day on payroll who provide maintenance and maintain the building, the grounds, all kinds of stuff. So if something happens in an apartment, it's quicker to get someone over there to fix it and see what's happening with it versus it would be with a uh, landlord because they actually have to call either a handyman who works on as an independent contractor or some type of a company again that works independently and they have to schedule you in they uh, might already have appointments or be booked up so it might be a little bit longer for someone to get the property to fix whatever the issue may be all right all right so now let's talk about apartment complexes so there are some pros and cons to apartment complexes now we just talked about the whole maintenance thing so that is definitely a pro because you get your um issues fixed faster, right? Another one though is that there are more amenities at an apartment complex. So most apartment complexes already have a gym, they have a meeting room, they have a pool, um, they have a space where you can throw parties or have gatherings. So a rooftop space with barbecue grills, you know, they have all these different types of amenities that you're paying for and which is why you're paying a higher rate. But you have to keep that in mind that those amenities come at a cost, which would be cutting into your profit. Uh, so basically, you either have to charge higher rates or, yeah, it might not work out for you in an apartment complex because it's not worth your time because they are charging so much if you can't charge higher rates, right? If, it, if the market does not support that. And one con to apartment complexes, 
would be that there's not going to be much privacy, right? So you might have a little bit of outdoor space, maybe a balcony or maybe a little patio, but you have someone right next to you or right in front of you. There is not going to be too much privacy. Not only that, you got people you're sharing walls with, you have a hallway, you have all these things that you are sharing on a regular basis. So you will not have as much privacy in a apartment complex, but if that doesn't bother you or your guests, then it's no big deal, right? All right, but I just wanted to throw that out there. Now, one benefit to both landlords and apartment complexes is that once you actually get in there and work with them and they see uh, what type of business you're running and that you're responsible and they aren't having any issues with your guests, well, they will be open to giving you more, right? So they'll be open to giving you more properties if they have them or more apartments if they have them available. So it will be easier for you all to create that relationship to scale your business, which is actually a win for everyone once again because they're making money because their properties are being filled on a consistent basis long term and we're talking about more than one year so they don't have to deal with um any uh, vacancies and occupancy because you're there with your business and you're making money because your guests are staying there they're having a great experience and everything is flowing very, very well, all right? So that, those are some pros and cons of having uh, or working with a landlord, a private landlord, and some pros and cons of going with an apartment complex. It's always your decision to, to make that choice. It's up to you. Um, you know, you won't go wrong either way. You just have to just know those things that I just gave you. Those are some things to think about when you're making your decisions, right? All right, so if you want to learn more about midterm rentals or corporate rentals, make sure you look below in my description. I offer some free resources to you guys. I also have my online course down there. The links are there for you guys. Um, make sure you like and subscribe to this video so you can see future videos and continue to learn from me. And if you want to follow me on social media, I am on Facebook and Instagram at Miss Kelly Michelle. So the same name you see above, put it together, you'll find me. I hope you guys are doing great in your journeys of having your midterm rentals or your corporate rentals and your learning experience. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.